Hey YouTubers, this is Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Saturday, April 13th, 2024. And today we're doing a video of a very special truck for Jesse in Indiana. And Jesse is interested in this beautiful unicorn Mitsubishi dump. This is a 1996 Mitsubishi Mini Cab. It's got the heavy duty bed. And it's an extremely rare truck because the sides are so high. And um, so it's really very uh, unusual. It's uh, got a 4x4, 5-speed transmission with a 2-speed transfer case. So it's got a high 1-5 through five in reverse and a low range 1-5 through five in reverse, which is very Mitsubishi. And it's got the best part of all, guys, 19,834 miles. So let's go ahead and let's check out this beautiful, beautiful truck with beautiful, beautiful tires. Look at those tires. Those are Toyo Open Country. High dollar tires. Very nice. They just happen to come with that. If I could, if I could get a bunch of those tires, that would be remarkable. They're just very, very hard to import. I'm importing 200 um tires and they should be here next week well they'll be here on the 25th they were supposed to be here on the 18th all right so we're going to go around the periphery here um of the windshield to see the condition of the um you know of of the uh windshield that's a weep hole from the factory and this is also a weep hole from the factory. So it looks really nice. We do have, oh, that was dirt. Never mind. That's dirt. That's grease. Okay. So let's look for a, any damage. Sorry for the wind. I know it's loud, but. Nothing I can do about that. All right, so the front is absolutely beautiful. And it's got a beautiful bumper, too. Now we're going to come down the door pillar. And the antenna is gone. No antenna. They took it off. Uh, it has a ding here. And you can see it used to have corporate, I suppose, or the name of the farm. This door is beautiful, guys. One ding is all it has. Now, these are the nicest tires you'll ever get. Toyo RT Open Country. Nice, nice, nice. And the tread is just stunning tread. It's like a new tire. We'll see if all four are like that. Um, very nice under here. Actually, I'm going to raise the bed and show that to you later. So we've got, these are all spot welds here, but we've got a ding, 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 ding. So a couple, you know, a little bit of dingage there. Oh, look at that nice sticker. All right. So now this opens like that. And then this hook goes in like that. So that way, when you open the bed, you can dump stuff out and, um, and um, you know, like if you had a horse farm and, or if you had brush or even firewood, and that way you can keep these open, that is pretty nice. I think I'll leave them open for now, actually. And this is original Mitsubishi, guys. This is not an aftermarket product. That's a nice condition, meaning it's not beat up. And this one. Also looks good. Man, look at that. That's nice. All right, so. That's how that works. Oh, 
and that goes like that. Oh dear. Well, I can't close that. That's supposed to slide through that hole and then go down there, but I've only got one hand. It's a little tough with just one hand. There we go. All right, good deal. Got it. Now, here we have a ding, ding, ding. A little flake of paint off there. Ding there. Ding there. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. But you can see that it actually is in beautiful condition. I'm being very, very picky. Okay. Coming down the door post. This is looking very nice. Very, very nice. It just has one small dent right there. Another nice Toyo Open Country. And lastly, another nice Toyo Open Country. Beautiful. So all four tires are like new. Beautiful door panel. Looking good. Let me come under here. No rust issues. Beautiful. Very good. Now, here is the seat on the passenger side. Beautiful seat. Looking good back there. Oh, look at that. Owner's manual. Looks like possibly a service manual. I'll roll that up so I don't have a bunch of stuff all over the place when I drive. Um, Alright, now under here, looking good. This is the bottom of the um the door also looking good now i want to start the truck oh also a beautiful seat look at that seat on the driver's side that's remarkable all right now we're going to raise the bed This is the bottom of the bed. That, guys, is remarkable condition. That is in very good condition. Beautiful. Very nice. This is a safety. So if you put that there and somebody lowers the bed, then you know you'll be safe. It's got a little surface rust right there, but I don't see any rust through. The piston is remarkable, meaning it's dry as a bone. That's how you evaluate a piston. Very, very nice. All right, the back of the cab also looks good. And I'm going to lower this, I'm going to lower this bed. All right, now we're going to take a drive.
Absolutely beautiful. This is what you call a unicorn dump. Meaning, it's in such good shape, it's designated as a unicorn. And a unicorn is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. Alright, so now we're in fifth gear because we're going down a hill. When you're going downhill, it's easy to go from first to third to fifth. No big deal. Now, the purpose of this test drive is to see how it does when it gets up to top speed. Now this dump is quite a bit heavier than normal because it's got a lot more metal in the bed, the high sides, and it's a dump. All the dumping mechanisms, like the piston and the pump and the hydraulic fluid. But we're going to see how it does coming back up the hill, you know, what it's like when it reaches, you know. So this guy is, is 60 miles per hour. And it feels really good. That is nice. And the reason is because it's such low miles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn around here and go back up that hill and see what it's like going up the hill. Is that, that was a pretty steep hill. I don't know if you can tell, but... That hill gets steep, especially as you get up there. Alright, so now we're in fourth gear. And we're going to gain some speed here. Climbing this hill. trucks got the law passed in North Carolina, making mini trucks street legal. And so you will get a title. And that title is going to allow you to tag your vehicle in North Carolina and in many other states. So this is 30 kilometers, 35 kilometers per hour. And guys, we're in fifth gear now. So we are not messing around at all. 35 kilometers per hour, but look what's happening. In fifth gear, going up a very steep hill, we're accelerating, and that is flat out remarkable. We're accelerating in fifth gear, going up a steep hill. So that is actually the most important part about the whole test drive, is that this heavy dump accelerates up a hill in fifth gear at a super slow speed. All right, so we appreciate you watching our video, and um, we uh, would uh, like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Actually, um, so Jesse, if you want to buy this truck, let me talk about that first. If you want to buy this truck, go ahead and call us at 336-777-9957. And you can also email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And our website, guys, is mayberryminitrucks.com. And we do deliver. We charge $2.50 per mile one way. So if you're 100 miles away, it's $250. And um, if you're, you know, 500 miles away, it's, you know, $1,250. And um, so, uh, also, we use <clears throat> full synthetic oil on our truck. So when we change the engine oil, in every one of our trucks, the engine oil has been changed. We use 5W30 full synthetic because it's a superior lubricant and the trucks really like synthetic oil. So that way, when you're talking to your neighbor for an hour at the mailbox... And, you know, your truck is, uh, the fan is going on and off and on and off. You've got synthetic oil lubricating that engine, which is great. And um, we change the air filter. 
the oil filter. Also, the air filter is of paramount importance. You do want to keep your air filter changed every 5,000 kilometers and your oil and your oil filter every 5,000 kilometers. That's a proper tune-up. And that's, that's what it looks like taking care of your mini truck. And don't go faster than 60. 55 is even nicer. We went 60. And this that's remarkable because look how deep the bed is on that thing. We went 60 miles an hour in this dump truck. And then we turned around and went up a hill in fifth gear going super slow and accelerated, which is amazing. But uh, so, yeah, Jesse, did I get that right, Jesse? Yeah, Jesse in Indiana. If you want this truck, let us know. We appreciate you guys watching our video and hit the subscribe button. So hit the subscribe button. That helps us and it helps you. It's easier to find our channel and then notification and the like button. That little thumb up. Hit the thumbs up. Guys, we so appreciate you watching our video. Thank you.